Berlin, a city forever etched in history, has witnessed both profound darkness and remarkable rebirth. Rising from the ashes of World War II, Berlin transformed from a shattered city into a vibrant symbol of resilience. The Reichstag, once a hollowed out shell, stands today as a beacon of democracy, its glass dome a testament to transparency and hope. Also, neben dem technischen Fortschritt, der ja die ganze Welt betrifft, ähm, es liegt die größte Ver Veränderung vor allem in der, in der ganzen Freiheit, die wir gewonnen haben seitdem. Es ist ja nicht nur Deutschland wieder vereinigt, sondern die Europäische Union wächst auch und wächst stärker zusammen. The Brandenburg Gate, for decades a symbol of division, now represents unity, its arches framing a reunited city. Berlin's story is one of triumph over adversity. It's a testament to the enduring human spirit, a beacon of hope for a world yearning for peace and understanding. The city's streets, once divided by concrete and ideology, now pulse with life, art, and a palpable sense of optimism. Berlin's journey is a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit can prevail. Well, I think there isn't really a difference in how people are treated mm -hmm. uh, in Eastern and Western Germany, especially for, for younger people, yeah. that isn't uh, anymore a thing like, like me. I'm not thinking about where someone, is, where someone is coming from. The year 1999 marked a pivotal moment in German history, the government's move from Bonn back to Berlin. The symbolic act solidified the reunification of East and West Germany, physically and spiritually reuniting a nation. No longer would the seat of power reside in the West. Berlin once again became the heart of Germany. The move signified a commitment to a shared future. It acknowledged the struggles of the past but also embraced the promise of a unified Germany. The relocation was not without its challenges, but it marked a turning point, a bold statement that declared Germany whole once more. Actually, after the reunification, um, because in GDR times, the train, like the, the was called, I think, still Reichsbahn at this time, it was like not not making profit. Like like, like everything else, it was subsidized, and um, it was also not the goal to make profit. I think the Deutsche Bahn at this point also was still like state owned and was also not supposed to make a big profit. Mm -hmm. This was changed later in the 2000s. But um, um, at this time we still had many, many connections. Despite the progress, challenges remain. Economic disparities persist between former East and West Germany and the psychological scars of division linger. The reunification process, while triumphant, has not been without its complexities. Yet, the spirit of Berlin and of Germany as a whole remains one of hope and perseverance. In 1992, our debt, evenness of capitalism and imperialism came over the East Germans. So, the, entirely, the entire industry crashed. Because we were not ready for the market. Berlin stands as a testament to the power of unity a beacon of hope for a world yearning for peace and understanding. The city's journey from division to reunification serves as an inspiration, a reminder that even the most formidable barriers can be overcome. Berlin today is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, a city that has transformed its wounds into wisdom, its divisions into a vibrant tapestry of unity.